Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add firewall rules to your Hostinger VPS, or Virtual Private Server, to block unauthorized access and protect all of the services on your VPS. What is a firewall? Well, if you have ever been to a nightclub, the bouncer is like a firewall. The bouncer is in charge of who is allowed in and who has to stay out. So the firewall controls which network and internet traffic, both incoming and outcoming, is either allowed or blocked based on a set of rules, which we are going to be creating today. Firewalls are the security blanket for your virtual private server. They keep the hackers, the bots, the random internet noise from poking around at your server. So while they are protecting your server from unwanted visitors, they also allow the legitimate connections so you can access your virtual private server if you have permission. Here is how firewalls work. So think of your VPS server like a really tall building and your VPS server building has 65,535 doors or ports. If the firewall is inactive, meaning you have not added any firewall rules, that means that all 65,535 doors or ports on your VPS are wide open. Your VPS is not secure. As soon as you add just one firewall rule, so let's say that I add a firewall rule that says I want to allow incoming and outgoing traffic on port 22. So I add the one rule and as soon as I do that, the firewall becomes active. So my VPS becomes protected. Port 22 remains open because that's what I said I wanted. And automatically all 65,534 other doors or ports automatically close. So anyone who is trying to access any other port but port 22 will be blocked. So with no firewall active, that means that all of the doors or the ports on your VPS are wide open, making the security weak and making your VPS vulnerable to malicious external traffic. As soon as you activate or add a new firewall on your VPS server, every single door or every single port on the VPS server is automatically closed. And then you just add firewall rules to tell the firewall which doors that you want to keep open or which ports that you want to allow incoming and outgoing traffic. If you are like me and many others, you may have signed up for a hosting or VPS, mainly so you could install and run the self-hosted version of N8N on your VPS. Well, N8N by default is available on port 5678. You now know that if the firewall is inactive on your VPS, that means that all of the ports on your VPS, including port 5678, for N8N is wide open, which is not good. So here is a good gut check exercise to see if your N8N instance is exposed to the world. You're just gonna enter this little snippet of code either in the Mac OS terminal or if you're on Windows in the command line. You'll find your VPS IP address. If you sign into your hosting or account, go to VPS, then go to the overview page. Under root access, your IP address will be right here. You can just copy it or go to the very bottom where it says IPv4. This is your IP address. Now I've hidden mine, but you will see numbers and that is your VPS IP address. Open a terminal window, type curl, C-U-R-L, space, enter your VPS IP address. No space after IP address, but put a colon and then enter the N8N port, which is 5678. Then tap return. If you get an HTML response that looks like this, that is a bad sign. That means that your port 5678 is wide open on the internet. 
Traffic on your port 5678 is unencrypted. There is no HTTPS or SSL protection. Anyone with your VPS IP address will just bypass your domain level authentication. Hackers scan for open ports just like this, and they can easily steal your N8N credentials the next time you try to log into your N8N account. Moral of the story. If you get this HTML response back after you enter this little snippet of code with your VPS IP address in the terminal, your N8N and your VPS is not secure, and I would highly recommend that you add the firewall rules that I'm about to show you right now as soon as possible. To add firewall rules so you can secure your VPS, sign into your hosting or dashboard, go to the VPS tab, on the overview page, if you scroll down, you'll see firewall rules. You can click that, that'll take you to the firewall page. Or if you're back on the overview tab, go down to security, twirl that open, click on firewall, and that'll take you to the firewall page. For this tutorial, we're gonna be adding three firewall rules. The first rule is gonna be for port 22. Port 22 gives you SSH access into your VPS and you want to do port 22 first, otherwise you could lock yourself out of your VPS and that would not be good. The second rule is for port 80. That is necessary for Let's Encrypt to do SSL certificate validation. And the third rule is for port 443. 443 is for HTTPS, so you can use a custom domain for your N8N. When the firewall is active, the default policy is to deny all other ports. So everything that is not listed here is going to be blocked. So that includes 5678 as we already mentioned, N8N, and if you have any other applications such as a llama installed on your VPS, that is also going to be blocked along with everything else except these three ports. Just a quick recap of the three ports that we are going to be adding rules for. Port 22 is the port that lets you log into your VPS remotely using an SSH client like Termius. And we're going to be adding port 22 first, otherwise you run the risk of actually locking yourself out of your server. Port 80 allows HTTP or normal web traffic. So if you built an application or a site on your VPS, you would allow port 80 so people could actually visit the site or as I noted earlier, it's also necessary for Let's Encrypt to be able to validate SSL certificates. Port 443 is for HTTPS or Secure Encrypted Web Traffic. So if you have a custom domain or if you access N8N using HTTPS, well then you would need to allow port 443 to be open. By adding these three rules, we're actually creating the default policy rule automatically, which is basically gonna block every other port except for these three. Let's add the firewall rules. So VPS, security, firewall, click plus to add firewall, give your firewall a name. I'm just gonna call it N8N VPS firewall, something simple and easy to remember. I'll click create. Before I add all the rules, I'm just gonna check the table so first we're gonna add port 22, then 80, then 443. For the protocol, we're gonna use TCP on all of them. And the 0.0.0.04/0, this is just the default route. There's gonna be a little drop down, and we're gonna select anywhere. That is at 0.0. .0. It's just saying listen from anywhere on the network. To add the rules, you don't click add firewall. You click the ellipsis, so the three dots, and choose edit. And now you're gonna add a firewall rule. So accept, that means allow, so we'll keep that. The protocol, TCP, the port, first, 22. The source, anywhere, that's at 0, 0.0. And then we're going to add the rule. Notice the number of rules is two. As soon as you create a new firewall, the default rule with the action of drop and drop is the same thing as block. So this default policy rule is automatically created. And as you can see here, by default, 
the hosting your VPS firewall drops or blocks all incoming traffic, which means you must add accept rules or allow for all ports that you want to use. So we want to accept or allow ports 22, 80, and 443 and drop or block everything else. So let's add the additional rules. Accept, protocol, TCP, port, 80, source, anywhere, add rule. Accept, protocol, TCP, port, 443, source, anywhere, add rule. You can edit or delete any of the rules that you've added. You just can't edit or delete that default drop rule. You can set up multiple firewalls. So if you want different configurations for different apps, you can do that. And at any time, if you want to go back into a firewall and add additional rules, just click the ellipsis, go into edit, and you can add additional rules. You can edit the name and you can delete the firewall. To get back to that main page, you're just going to click this left arrow to activate the firewall so you can have peace of mind knowing that your VPS is secure and protected. All you have to do is just toggle on. Yes, you want to activate this firewall configuration. Click activate. The firewall group is being activated. This may take up to five minutes. As you can see, the N8N VPS firewall is active. And once you activate the firewall and add the firewall rules to open up the ports that you want to be able to access, it's a good idea to test all of your connections and make sure that you still have access as expected. The first thing I will test is to make sure that I can still remotely access my VPS using SSH on port 22. And this SSH client that I use to remotely connect to my hosting or VPS is called Termius. I am on the free plan. I will leave a link in the description. I'm going to click on the shortcut to connect to my VPS using SSH on port 22. Remember, port 22 was the first firewall rule that we added and we told the firewall that we wanted this port open. Now, if port 22 was closed, I wouldn't be able to connect. So here I go. I'm going to double click. Terminus is trying to connect. Bingo. I was able to access my VPS remotely using SSH on port 22. The firewall rule is working. Now let's test out port 443. That's the HTTPS. I'm going to use my custom domain and if port 443 is open, I should be able to connect to N8N. I'll tap return. Bingo. I am in N8N. Remember that scary test that we did in the terminal that showed that port 5678 where N8N is was wide open and vulnerable? So after you activate the firewall to retest and make sure that port 5678 where N8N is, is blocked, protecting your N8N instance, you're going to open up a terminal window. You're going to type in curl space, enter your VPS IP address, put a colon at the end, and type 5678. Then you're going to tap return. If nothing happens, that means that port 5678 is blocked. Success. And to quit terminal, press the control key and tap the letter C to bring it all home. The reason that port 5678 where N8N was blocked, even though we didn't add any firewall rules related to 5678, is because as soon as you activate the firewall, every single port is automatically blocked, including 5678. And then you just add firewall rules to accept or to allow traffic through the ports that you want. So in our case, we allowed traffic on port 22, 80, and 43. So by doing nothing else, 
port 5678 and every other port is automatically blocked. And that is how to add a firewall and firewall rules to protect your Hostinger VPS. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.